Afternoon guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters in the Pathfinder School and I just thought I'd take you guys out today a little bit on kind of a day in the life, actually multiple days. I've, this is the third lake in two and a half days. I got this new Discovery Old Town canoe actually about four or five months ago and I just got the trailer for it last week and I've just now really had some downtime not traveling or teaching to be able to go out and enjoy myself and kind of get used to the canoe do a review of the canoe, see what I thought of it, and then also to be able to test and review some other gear while I was in the process. So, Lake's absolutely beautiful this morning. There it is. Not a ripple on the water. Not a boat on the water. Only thing I can hear is fish hitting the top every now and again. So I'm gonna go ahead and paddle over here to the other side, kind of away from areas where people could potentially bank fish and kind of try to get some area that might not have as much fishing pressure to begin with kind of see what it looks like over here well the bass ain't biting the pan fish are so we'll switch gears and catch a few bluegill just for fun here got a tree top here thought maybe it'd be holding some crappie but so far just a bluegill However, I'm also running a little bit of a test theory here because I've got a jar of Berkeley Gulp here that I know is five years old, if it's a day old. So what's the longevity of that stuff or shelf life? I think you'd have it for a long time before it would go bad or before it wouldn't work, that's for sure. Because that bobber wasn't in the water three minutes before it was a fish on that one. Let's try her again here and see what we come up with. There's another one. That didn't take long. <laughs> that didn't take long. Another big boy. There we go. That ain't taking no time at all to catch those fish. Nice hand size bluegill. Hand size equals pan size. Yeah. Our little slab here. Now this tree top. Pretty productive little area. Oops. Dropped him in the boat. Get out of here, you. Back in the water. Well, we had a good time today and uh, caught some decent sized bluegill. Didn't have any luck on the bass, missed a couple. Off the bat this morning, but this is a pretty lake and uh, it's just nice getting out in the sun and paddling and catching a few fish and relaxing a little bit. We've got a 10 foot Old Town Discovery Series 119. There are a couple things I really like about this canoe. I haven't found anything that I don't like about it yet. It's fairly lightweight, even though it's got a lot of accessories inside the canoe as it comes. It's light enough weight that I can portage, if you will, or carry the canoe, you know, like Today, I'm gonna to carry this thing about 65 yards to a lake to put it in because the boat ramp is closed because the lake is down, but this is a hot lake for bass and crappie, so that kind of gives me a private chance at this lake today, this afternoon, fishing into this evening, try to get some good top water action. There's a lot of stick ups out here and a lot of deadfall in the water. I'm gonna to try to take advantage of that this afternoon, fall season, bass are feeding up for the winter. It should be some good action to be had, so we're gonna find out. What I wanted to do was I wanted to kind of go over the features of this canoe with you guys, kind of show you the way I've got it set up to fish or the way it actually comes set up to fish and what I've done to be able to film from this canoe as well. Stay with me. That's 
is looking very promising. Half a lake of stick ups out here. Gotta say I love that. Going back further, you've got brackets on both sides, basically for pliers, baits, little things like that. It's got some foam here where you can actually put hooks in there while you are, you know, untying, tying a bait, working with another rod, something like that if you wanted to. It has a really nice, comfortable seat with a water bottle or drink holder here in the middle. It's got some space underneath and to the sides. I've got my tackle box stored there, my build sponge, and a water bottle. And then the seat folds down and folds up, and it actually locks over here on the side. i move this camera just a little bit so you can see that. You can actually take this out and position this seat to a certain spot that you want to lean against and then lock it in place, and it won't move from that position when you sit in it. So you can actually adjust that seat for your own comfort level. Then in the back of the canoe itself, it has two rod holders to kind of get your rods out of your way when you're fishing. So you can have one rod you're fishing with and another rod stored behind you. I don't know that the canoe comes with this double Carlisle Predator paddle or not. It came with the canoe as I received it. And then I added a life jacket. Of course, it came with a life jacket as well, but I already had one that I've been wearing. It's just a Stearns. It's got a nice accessory pouch on the front of it, pockets and things on the side. And that's what I wear in there. And then I've got an anchor in here, a canoe anchor made by Best Marine and Outdoors. So I can anchor off if I want to for still fishing in one spot. Pretty much that's the features of this canoe in a nutshell. And it is a really, really nice setup that I've really been enjoying over these last few days. And I think I'm going to enjoy it for a long time to come. So let's get this thing in the water and catch some fish. I don't carry a whole lot of tackle. So I'm kind of selective. What I do carry. I love these inline spinners. Generally, they will catch fish faster than about anything. If you're just coming into an area that's unknown to you, it helps if you put your glasses on so you can see what you're doing. But uh, yeah, make sure we're locked. Nope. There we go. All right. Top of the box ain't very big. Don't need to be. Well, it's got the right stuff in it. All right. Get the boat positioned the way we want it here, which is not quite where we're at now. Kind of need to ourselves just a little bit in this direction here. There we go. Going in just a little bit more towards shore here. In between a couple of stick ups here. We'll have it going on. There we go. Now we get somewhere. Now where I want to be. Alright, here's one. Another bass here. <laughs> Come on up here, big boy. Get in the boat. A little bitty one, but it's fish. Got him in the bottom lip there. Hanging right on one of them poles. A little bit of weeds right here in this spot. That's probably my 50th cast and all of a sudden he was there. So that was a little more work than I wanted to do. But anyway, see you later. Fish the fish. Another little one. You got that thing right in the upper lip. Buried it pretty good in the jawbone there. My goodness, old buddy, he swallowed that thing, didn't he? All right, get out of here. Getting into an area now, it's got some lily pads in the stick ups here. See if that changes the game any. So far, we're not getting a lot of action, but two fish. Probably haven't been here an hour. That's not too bad. 